Let's talk about your eyelids. Today we're going to talk about your upper eyelids. The upper eyelids tend to get heavier with age and so this is a good thing that we can talk about because there's a lot of advantages to doing this kind of surgery. We can do these actually in the office. So as we get older or even just genetically, the upper eyelids tend to sag or get closer to the eyelashes. Um, with age or again, like I said, genetically. If this bothers you, it is something that you can go after. If it doesn't bug you and it's just something that you have, there's really not, no reason to do anything about it. But what people tend to notice is that as their eyelids get heavier, they also have fat pockets that all the way around your eyes tend to show. So these tend to show right in the corners, right in here. So people don't like that. And um, eyes really are the first place people look at your face. It does tend to show your age a little quicker than other parts of your face, especially if your eyelids tend to be very, very heavy and go right down to your lash line. They really tend to accentuate the tired look. Most people that come to see me just say that they feel like they look tired or that other people are telling them that they look tired and just not a cool thing to say or not really great to feel that way. So an upper eyelid blepharoplasty is a surgical procedure that we can do right here in the office under local anesthesia, meaning we just numb up the area with the injection and then we do the procedure. That involves a couple things. Taking eyelid skin out from your eyelid here, taking it eye taking eyelid skin out from here, and then taking fat from the corner of your eye here to really sculpt it and make it look very natural. The most common thing that people are worried about is scarring, and the second most common thing is looking different. So both of those are really not much of an issue because the eyelid skin is very thin. It tends to be the best healing skin on the face. And as we know, the face is the best healing skin on the body. Because of that reason, while you will have a scar in the beginning, your scar tends to heal very, very well over time. Up until about six months to a year, the scar is almost imperceptible. So that surgery is done in the office. You're awake during the procedure. Your eyes are closed. We remove the skin, take out the fat, and then put stitches in. Those stitches come out at around day five to seven, depending on your skin, depending on the healing capacity of it. And then things look good, but hold the brakes. Because at week three, that's when a scar starts to be noticeable. So if I don't tell patients that at week three, your scar is going to be thick, they all freak out. So every patient gets the same lecture from me that at week three, you will start to have a scar that is noticeable and it'll be a little thicker than normal. Now, if you wear makeup, you can cover it up with makeup, but that scar tends to be a little more noticeable. And then the body has to heal it and sort of soften that scar. Your body will go into overdrive to heal a scar before it softens it out. So at week three and on, your scar tends to thin out, it tends to turn white, and then it's basically imperceptible. Like I said, eyelid scars are almost imperceptible to the naked eye, even very, very close. It's one of the best areas to have surgery because the scar heals so well. Again, the goal is really just to get a crisp eyelid shape and to remove a little bit of fat from the corners to not make you look any different, but just to make it look like you had a full night of sleep. If you're interested in having an upper eyelid blepharoplasty or talking about how your eyelids are aging and what we can do, call our number, set up a consultation. We'd love to see you.